Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Buyers Products 800 pound trailer winch. Now these guys are going to be a decent way of just either assisting you on your utility trailer or predominantly what I think a lot of us are going to use a lot, utilize it for our boat winch here. So can this get our boat up on our trailer? Yes it can as long as of course we are keeping in mind what kind of boat we have. So is this winch right for you? Well there's going to be a couple different factors we've got to keep in mind in understanding the weight of our boat. However highly recommend perusing that here at eTrailer.com. I'm just going to break down the big one which is going to be the weight of of our boat. So pretty good rule of thumb. We're going to need about half of the weight our boat with our weight capacity. So if we have a 2,000 pound boat, we're probably going to need a 1,000 pound capacity winch. Now for ourselves here today, we do have an 800 pound capacity rating. That means we're going to probably be a okay to utilize those 1,600 pound boats. But in my opinion, if you want a little bit more safety and you just want that convenience and make it a lot easier to actually get your boat on your trailer, I recommend at least getting about three quarters of your boat weight in that rating. So personally, this 800 pound probably gonna be a little bit underrated for those 1600s out there, but probably gonna be perfect for something like our 1200 pound boat here. Definitely gonna give us that necessary rating we need and make it a lot easier to get our boat on our trailer. Now it also is going to have a nice little zinc finish on here, making it a little bit more resistant to that corrosion we're probably going to be experiencing in those marine environments, especially with something like salt water conditions. Uh, to that end, I highly recommend trying to spritz this off every now and then, get that salt water off of there, and a little bit of grease can go a long way there on your gears. Now we don't have to go too crazy on it, as we definitely do want them to work, but just to keep them from seizing on later can be very helpful. Now our strap is going to be a two inch by 26 foot long polyester strap. Now it is going to be nylon of course, but pretty much interchangeable there. Now it is going to give you that seat belt like material. And what's great about that usually doesn't end up damaging your boat in any kind of way, which is excellent. And I think this is kind of the preferred option for a lot of boaters out there. And it is going to be strong and durable, ready for the years to come. So how does it work? Well, we're gonna have our little ratchet pole here and towards our gears or up is actually gonna be its ratcheting position to go ahead, pull our boat onto our trailer and of course, tighten up our strap. Now it is gonna have a couple other positions as well. It can be helpful to just pull a little bit on that handle. That makes it easier to get my pole in the free spin maneuver. It is a little bit uh, hard to get into, I will say, but as you guys can see, that allows me to spool that out. Now, if I wanted to, I could bring it to the ratchet position to walk it out as well. To do that, I need to go all the way back and that's gonna allow me to slowly crank this out, which can be a little helpful if we're just trying to slow lift our boat. Now I will say after just a brief amount of time using this, I'm not really the biggest fan of this product just because A, our strap here, it's really nice that it's long, but it almost feels like our drum isn't quite big enough to actually house it. I'm just having the sinking feeling that every now and then this strap might actually get to the side and in our gears and cause a bit more of an issue than we were having to begin with. And to that end too, this Paul system just doesn't seem that solid. I've used a lot of winches here in the past two days and honestly, it feels almost the worst one out of a lot of them. Personally, I might just look at some of the Dutton Lanson models. They seem just to be a little bit more constructed and seem like they're going to hold up to the test of time. To begin our installation, what we need to do, of course, is to remove our older winch. Now, if we don't have an older winch, that might be putting us in this tough spot because we do want to retain that hardware from our older models. Now, personally, I would recommend trying to maybe get three bolts in there. Two is definitely going to do, but three is always nice for that safety concern. But again, two is going to get us nice and installed for ourselves. Now, if you guys have retained that hardware, that's great. If you do need some, you just need three eighths inch diameter bolts to make sure we can run this through. Talking about length, you just need to make sure you get through your mounting plate here and your friends that can be a little dependent at home. Let's make sure we are getting that necessary length to get it installed. But all we got to do is walk it in place and start setting it in. Let's do that together. So we do need to take note of our mounting positions here. Now these are going to be your kind of universal cutouts on a majority of winches. So hopefully you guys have the right spacing for yourself. Otherwise, you may need to do a little custom drilling into our frame. All we need to do though is simply set it in place here. Take our bolts and walk it into place. And of course, repeating that process for our second one. Now taking a look here, it might be a little hard for me to get that second bolt in. We may need to unspool this all the way out, but let's give it old college try. Now with our strap all the way unspooled, that's going to give me access here to my second bolt. And all I need to do is slot it in. Once 
We just simply need to take our washers and our nut and begin to set them on. A hand tighten can be very helpful just to get it started, but of course, we're gonna need the necessary sockets to run them all the way up and secure them in place. Now we just need to get our handle in place. To do so, we simply take our handle, slot it right in here on that clasp, take our included nut, and cinch it up. You are gonna need a three quarter inch socket or wrench to tighten it up. I just need to support my handle, tighten it up, and we're nice and secure. Well guys, hopefully you have a pretty good idea of how to actually get this winch installed and start hauling all of our boats or other utility items on our trailer. I think that about does it for our look here today at the Buyers Products 800 pound trailer winch here at eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.